All right, is Pooler the best place to live when it comes to living around Savannah? I don't know, we're gonna find out. I wanna, I wanna do some research for you, right? Here online so you can see it about what people think about Pooler, some stats and what to expect if you wanna move to Pooler, right? And I'll give you some personal thoughts as well. So keep watching. All right, here we are. First thing first, key findings about Pooler, right? It says that it has a score of 69, which is considered average, right? Now, what that tells you, basically, it is nothing fancy, nothing special, just a nice little city, and it's considered just average, right? Now, the crime rate on the other side is 11% lower than the Georgia average, and I, I think I would agree with that. I, I live in the south side of Savannah myself, and Pooler is definitely a little nicer, for sure. Now, cost of living in Pooler, 9% higher than the Georgia average, and the real estate prices are 23% higher than the Georgia average. Now, I'm recording this video in January 22nd of 2022. The average, the, like the median price in Pooler right now at this very second, it's about 261, 262. That's the average and the median price of the homes. So apparently that's 23% higher than the Georgia average. Rental prices in Pooler are 20% higher than the Georgia average. Now there is a reason behind that. That's not just for the sake of, of being higher. There's a reason for it. All right now this website has a lot of a lot of other things that I wanted to share with you. But the main thing, which I'm gonna do it right now, is two comments from people, two comments from people who apparently live in Georgia. I think one person loves it, the other person hates it. So check this out. All right, this one is a review of Pooler, Georgia. It says, it is a great place to live, apparently, right? It says Pooler is quiet, clean, and has a low crime rate. It's a great place to raise a family. The school system isn't as good as Effingham, but Pooler schools are some of the best in Chatham County. It says Pooler is growing, but still has a small town feel, which I think I agree. Now they actually, they, they have a new uh, Starbucks, Costco, uh, there's a Kroger at Parker's. So that they, they have a lot of construction going on. Plus there is a road that connects Savannah to Pooler, which is Quaco Road. They are trying to expand that. So it's definitely improving, right? It's, it's getting better with time. Now it says the nightlife isn't booming here, but Savannah is only a 10 minute drive away. I was actually talking about this with my, my girlfriend uh, about how I wish Pooler had some nightlife uh, activities that you can go to and enjoy, but they don't have. I mean, they have a bowling alley, they have uh, like restaurants and stuff, but you know what I mean when I say nightlife, right? And it says, I would recommend Pooler to anyone interested in moving to Chatham County. Now, the interesting thing about this, let me see if I can pull this up real quick, is this right here. Check this out. This right here. If you follow my, there you go. You see that? It says that 308 people agree with the comment, right? And 382 disagree. How is that possible? So you're telling me more than half of the people actually disagree with everything that this woman said. Right, so there is somebody who, it looks like somebody replied to it. So check this out. This person right here is complaining about the traffic in Pooler. Traffic has become a serious, uh, it says traffic has become a serious problem. Right, and then she mentions on this side again that also there is no public transportation. Right, and then she's complaining about how Apparently, somebody from the, the government is not allowing the public transit from Savannah to connect with Pooler, blah, blah, blah. Now, the same thing with this comment. Check this out. Check this out. It says that 30, 33 people agree with it, and another 41 people disagree with it. So how is that possible? Are two people lying? Probably not. The thing is, traffic Pooler sucks. Right? The traffic in Pooler sucks. That's I think I agree with that part. But it's not as bad as people think. Right? That depends on what time of the day you're you're driving in Pooler. Of course, if you're driving 
at 4.30 in the afternoon, traffic is going to be a little heavy, which it happens in a lot of places, including Savannah as well. So with that being said, let's continue. Let's continue with this. Okay, now check this out. This is another thing about Pooler, the Pooler demographics. If, if you're wondering, I don't know if this matters to you, but if it does, here it is. It says the population is about 22,000 people, right? Um, median age is about 37, which that, that tells you something. There's a lot of young people there. It's not like an old people community. There's a lot of, a lot of young people, right? It says 61% of the people are married. Uh, they speak English. 89% of the people speak Spanish. 4% of the people. I'm Hispanic myself if you haven't figured it out. I don't live in Pooler though, but just so you know. So that's that's another cool thing about it. Now this one, <laughs> all right, this one's going to be interesting. If you got kids and schools is something that matters to you. Um, I don't have anything to say about this, honestly, because I don't have any kids. But these people are obviously doing research on it. And here's what they got to say about it. The schools in Pooler, the rating is an F. 27% below national average. High school diploma, 8% higher than natural average. A bachelor's degree, 21% higher than the natural average. Now, look at that rating. If that is something that matters to you, and, and you look on, on this other comment from the lady that I just showed you, right? The schools are not as good as in Effingham. And then this person tells you that there is a, a, a rating of F on, on the school, right? The student to teacher ratio, 15 to 1. There's only three public schools, apparently. No private schools at all. And here, check this out. The best schools in in Pooler, the Pooler area, the Pooler district. It says Godley Station, Pooler Elementary School, West Chatham Elementary School, West Chatham Middle School, blah, 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 blah. So if that matters to you, that's something that you should consider. Maybe Effingham might be a better option for you or... Richmond Hill, which is in Bryan County, you should check that out as well. I'm probably going to make another video about it later. Now, if you look at this, all of these are houses in Pooler. Look at that townhouse right here. 205000 210000 for a home. 533000 265 214 249 right? They have very similar styles. So if you have never been to Pooler, you're trying to relocate. That's how houses look in here. All right, now, here in this area, let me see if I can point it out to you guys. Hold on a second. Check this out. Right? There you go. That one. Nearby cities with high average school scores. First, Rankin, Georgia, 25% higher. Richmond Hill, Georgia, 90% higher. Pooler, it's all the way at the bottom. So you have Rinkin, Richmond Hill, Savannah, Bloomingdale, Gar Garden City, and Pooler. So again, if you got kids, and if this tells you something, you might want to consider Rinkin and Richmond Hill as a better option when it comes to school districts than Pooler. So I know this is very important for a lot of people. So do your own research and make decisions accordingly okay so that was it it was just a short video to show you guys what some people think about pooler and what you can find online about pooler if you are uh, searching for it online now i wanted to give you as well my personal thoughts on it and i think pooler is a, a great area i think it's the best area to live when it comes to chatham county if you ask me i think it's better than the south side I think it, I live myself in the south side, by the way. I, mean, I don't live in Pooler, but I think Pooler is better. Port Wentworth is great. Uh, the communities look nicer, more like modern, newer homes, a, a lot of private communities, right? Now, that has a consequence, of course. You're going to have a lot of homeowners association, which some people hate for some reason. A lot of people don't like having to pay a monthly fee. And the monthly fee can be anywhere from $80 a month to maybe a few hundred dollars every quarter, right? Maybe once a year of like a thousand and some change, $800 a year or whatever. So that's something that you need to think about, right? If you hate HOAs, you probably shouldn't live in Pooler unless you live in the in the, uh, the old Pooler, which has a lot of houses that are not as modern, 
right? So you have to pick and choose what you sacrifice if you're doing a, a, a search for, for homes. So that's my personal thoughts. I think Pooler is great. Now, if you got kids, eh, probably Richmond Hill, Bryan County, Effingham County, right? If you, if you want, um, if, if the most important thing for you is a school districts, Pooler probably is not the, the best thing. And that's not me saying it. I don't even have any kids. But everybody, you can ask anybody who've lived in, in Chatham County and they, they have kids, they're going to tell you what the best schools are. So I'm not the one, but if I'm just telling you what everybody else says, and even online you can see it like I just showed you, probably Chatham County is not the best place for you if the most important thing for you are school districts, okay? So anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.